Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven Godspeed. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 1 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada y schedule. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касая черта schedule. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Sometimes some of the uh, assistants are too naughty or too bad, you know. So I say, you kneel there. Uh, in a while, you come back. Not long, not long after. Immediately attain the different level of God. <laughs> he kneel in front of the bed or something. You know, after a while. <laughs> First, I will feel very guilty and feel bad because I make them new, you know. But later, I know their tricks, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Meaning, I say what I want, they do what they want. <laughs> so it's useless anyway. Okay. All right. We should really thank the past masters, monks, and nuns, and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the Master's Nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks and nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. We have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present, and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, According to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha. According to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Uh, obeisance to the world, honor one. Anan, yeah. Will honor one uh, appear in the world to benefit all beings? Even the blind person gain their sight again. This grace is immeasurable. Yeah, uh, as if uh, like this person, the Brahman. Yeah, just in a few 
moment his eyes gain regain the sight his sight and also his wisdom eyes even also open yeah in the former life what did he do what kind of a good seat did he saw in his uh, married field with you so that today he has such a fortune to meet a well honored one and even accept into buddha uh, into the buddha sangha and uh, attain arhat yes so the buddha say anan it is not in this lifetime only that i have given him the eyesight in the past life i even offer him my own eyes one time one time obeisance to buddha please tell us how 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 did it happen so the buddha said anan long long time ago in the past life long too long too long ago you cannot count how many asamkhya eons pass mean countless countless yes also on this planet there was a, a city named fukalaba uh, there was a, a, a king of that country named uh, um uh, pleasant eyes something like that okay whatever yes this king has a special eyes that he can see the whole four continent and uh, uh five four continent five continent and and four four oceans etc something like that yeah he could even see through the walls therefore uh, his name is pleasant eyes yes this person uh pleasant eyes rule over uh, 8400 no 84000 smaller country 60 uh, mountains and river a million uh, tribal he has a uh, haimu mm, oh my god could be billion no <laughs> never mind we we, we <laughs> slim down a little bit. just say just say 20 20000 yeah because otherwise where do he put them moon là gì cơ vạn moon trăm ngàn á trăm ngàn á vạn mới là trăm chục ngàn moon tức là trăm uh, ngàn okay oh he has two hundred thousand wife and concubine etc yeah and he has ten thousand ministers five hundred prince is similar all the time if he's a great king then he rule over 84000 country and he has 200000 wife concubine and he has 500 uh, uh prince so it's just more or less it's just a number so that knowing that this king is very very powerful yes has a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of people the first prince name uh chento uh, chento precept something like that gentle principle mm. that's uh, his his first prince yeah the crown prince is named gentle gentle principle or gentle precepts similar like that gentle discipline whatever okay huh? this king is very very merciful mm. he uh, treated his citizen as if a father treat treat uh, their own children his own children yeah He is very diligent in teaching them to do good deeds and keep the precepts. Therefore, in the whole country, there is never any trouble, uh, always peaceful. And the climate, everything is very great. Yeah. Very, very uh, peaceful and very harmonious with uh, human and nature. So every, um, every harvest is full and good. All the citizens... happy wow wouldn't we like to live there mm. Mm. golden time one time one day he he was sitting on his golden throne he was thinking to himself 
<sighs> I, I am a king, married as if, as full as the four oceans. Whatever I say, you know, all the beings under the sun obey, because it is some merit that I have. Uh, uh, I have uh, sown in the former lives. But this lifetime, if I don't continue to sow good deeds, good seed, then in the future, what will I rely upon? Of course, I will be suffering then. It's like the farmers, yeah, in springtime, he is diligently sowing the seed so that uh, in summer he will harvest very, very well. If, if the springtime, He's lazy and doesn't sow the seed, then in the summer, of course, he will have nothing to harvest, and then he will suffer hunger. After thinking thus, the king ordered all of his uh, uh, court officials to open the store, you know, royal storage, and take out uh, gold, silver, and, uh, clothing, cloth, uh, rice, cereals, and all kind of uh, necessity. Take it out outside of the city wall and give it to all the poor people. Yeah. And he also ordered these uh, 84,000 uh, smaller countries to do charity work just the same. Open all the store and give it to the people. And from then on, the citizens even happier, and no one has lacked anything. And everybody sing the praise, the praise for the king everywhere. Everywhere you go, you hear they praise the king, sky high. Yeah. There was a. There was one smaller country king. His name is. Uh, uh, Balaba Bara, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Balaba Bari, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't obey the order of the Pleasant Eye King. And in his own country, he, he rules with high handed, you know, like iron hand. He's a kind of very uh, a restless person, and he decides things quickly without consider anything else. He's indulging. He's indulging in uh, sensual pleasure, woman, wine, and such like. He doesn't care about uh, national affair. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't say trọng dụng làm sao He doesn't know how to respectfully use the talented persons in his country yeah talented and 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 virtuous people he doesn't care to use them and he asks his citizen to do many things that's illogical wasteful and unnecessary and uh, many of the uh, foreigners came to his country to do business he taxed them very heavily so other citizens in that country hated him uh, in his uh, royal court at that time, there was a, a, a court official. His name is Lao Da Da, very intelligent, uh, knowing a lot of uh, uh, worldly knowledge, and also um, very knowing a lot of moral, yes, moral discipline. So he tried to uh, stop the king, no? Try to how say, advise the king first. Your Majesty, uh, you have five inf unfavorable, uh, unfavorable character, something like that. Yes, if you do not change it, uh, one day, one day troubles will come to you. So the king say, "What is it? What do I have? Tell me." <laughs> What kind of unfavorable <sighs> that I, the king, can have? Tell me anyway. <laughs> okay, so the uh, the good 
good uh, uh, official tell him, Your Majesty has uh, very, uh, how you say, impulsive, impulsive tendency. Yeah, everything you decide is very fast, and you do not consider uh, pro and con. Yes, this is a. Uh, in the future, hmm, national uh, great interests will be harmed hmm, if you don't change. All right, that's the first one. Huh? Uh, the second unfavorable character is that you indulge yourself in uh, womanizing sexual pleasure too much and do not care about national affairs. So many of uh, the uh, bad officials had the chance to do uh, all kind of uh, misdeeds, yeah, and uh, uh, make the citizens suffer a lot. Whenever they want to uh, to complain, they have nowhere to to turn to. Nobody protect the citizen because of this uh, powerful. But bad officials are making making their own rules and make the, the citizens suffer. You know, bribery and unfair judgment and all kind of, you know, oppressive behavior. Causing a lot of pain for the country people. Number three. In our country, there are many people who are loyal, knowledgeable, talented, and virtuous, but you do not... Um, you do not uh, know how to how to respectfully uh, use them yeah uh, by your side therefore in the future you will not know how to deal with uh, some difficult situation yeah if you need them there's no one there to help yes. number 4 You make our citizen working so hard, doing many useless, wasteful things. So people are lamenting and uh, hating the royal, royal policy, hating you, meaning. <laughs> hey. Number five, many of other business people from other countries who came to our country to do business, you tax them too heavily. Therefore, uh, all the goods are, are extremely expensive. Mm. These five unfavorable situations are the sign of losing country, of losing our country. Yes. Please, uh, please uh, change all this and follow the ancestry uh, policy is better, yeah, the, the better one before. So uh, nowadays, at present, the present I King are giving charity to all the countries. Yes, every country, every small country, obey his uh, order. Only our country did not. So all the citizens are hating us. Mm. Please, Your Majesty, should open all the store and. Uh, you know, donate it to people so that even your children will um, will de derive this uh, benefit from this great merit. And then your children will have merit for a long time. These five unfavorable situations are the sign of losing country, of losing our country. Yes. Please. Uh, please uh, change all this and follow the ancestry uh, policy is better, yeah, the, the better one before. So uh, nowadays, at present, the present I King are giving charity to all the countries. Yes, every country, every small country obey his uh, order. Only our country did not. So all the citizens are hating us. Mm. Please, Your Majesty should open all the store and uh, you know, donate it to people. 
so that even your children will um, will de- derive this uh, benefit from this great merit, and then your children will have married for a long time. After the king heard us, his face become black. He was very angry, angry. You know all this, huh? How you know all this, huh? <laughs> you can see the future, <laughs> huh? Huh? I will see. I will see if it's if the people really hate me or it is uh, from your own mouth. I don't believe it is. I will not change anything. I'm the king. I say so, and it is so. <laughs> uh! <laughs> So this uh, official Lao Dada was thinking to himself. <sighs> I saw that the the king doesn't have a good policy, nah? hmm. doesn't know how to govern the country. So I was really trying to introduce some better advisors and helpers into the court. But not only he doesn't listen to my advice, and he he was even angry with me. Is surely will be dangerous for me. Ah, now I have to think of the way to help our country people. But then uh, his whatever his uh, strategy has been exposed, and then the king, as his uh, you know shoulder come and uh, catch him. But he know it in advance, so he uh, run. Uh, he ride on the horse, rode on the horse, and run away, escape. The shoulder follow him on his heel, and he has to turn turn back and shoot, kill eighteen people, and the rest was scared and run away. The rest of the shoulders. Yes. This uh, these officials, you know, the good virtuous official went to the pleasant eye country, and uh, come into. Have audience with the king. The king was very happy to receive him, and and then uh, he he see that this court officer is very eloquent, very good, yeah, very uh, clear, and every answer, everything he knows a lot. He is very happy, yeah. So he use him mm, as one of his ministers, advisors. And then after a while, they became more close. Yeah? He became more close with the king, pleasant eyes. And then he slowly uh, told the king, pleasant eyed, about his former king, about how bad he was and all that. Okay. And then uh, the pleasant king asked his or uh, his uh, ministers, uh, "This country uh, does does it?" Be- Does it belong to under my rule or not? And they say yes, yes, your Majesty. But uh, he most they mostly uh, you know ignore us. They never uh, visit or have a, a diplomatic tie to much. They don't even care what you say. They don't obey your order. Yeah. <clears throat> so Laudaba, then the the official that escaped. Yeah, new officials. Officials say, Your Majesty. This king is very, very stubborn and very ignorant. He is also indulging in in sensual, sexual pleasure. You know, every citizen hates him uh, and thinking of him like an enemy. So please, uh, if you give me uh, enough shoulders, I will go there and destroy him. And the pleasant king, okay. Mm. Say American, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a lot of shoulders and you know uh, weapons, yeah, and order many other countries, smaller country, come help him also. And one of the one of the neighboring country to this bad king came and and secretly told him about that, so he was very scared, you know, the the bad king very scared. Uh, he came and wear a very tattered clothes, tried to escape. He was kind of hiding, you know. He don't wear the king clothes anymore. He just wear some some tattered clothes and hiding, very very uh, secret place. 
Do you still have this ginger tea like yesterday? Today, do you make ginger tea? Sam, can I have some later? I can be coughing. How come I don't have ginger tea? I want, <laughs> I want ginger tea like everybody else. <laughs> It's okay, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the prime minister uh, found out his uh, hideout, you know, secret hideout, and asked him, oh, "Your Majesty, what, what, what worries you so much?" So he said, "Oh, you don't know, uh, Lao Da Bak, you know, the minister escaped to the country Fuka Labak, and then he." Uh, connect with the pleasant king, and then other uh, 84, 83,000 other country are coming with a lot of shoulders and want to destroy our country and he want to capture me. So the uh, prime minister told him, Oh, your majesty, you don't worry so much, don't worry so much. Uh, I, I, We we have to uh, we have to gather all the court officials and talk about this. Also, I have a good way. I have uh, a plan. Oh, so he's uh, happy a little bit. Came back to the palace and uh, caught, uh, summoned summoned all of his uh, officials, and then he said, "All of you should know, our country is in danger. The pleasant king." Uh, shoulders are coming. Mm. How are we going to? Um, how are we going to? Oh, oh, what? Face it. To face it. Uh, how are, how are we going to fight them? Mm. Oh, everybody talk one way or another. You know, nothing. You you useless. It's it's usual. <laughs> it's normal with a king who doesn't know how to use good people, yeah, uh, and who just like to listen to sweet talk, and keep all this sweet tongue around. Tang can do anything, but <laughs> when a country is in danger, no. <laughs> so, so not surprised, ne? Nobody has any good idea. Yeah. So the prime minister came up and said, uh, "I heard that the king Pleasant Eyes, Pleasant Eyes, has a vow like this. Yeah. Uh, except his parents, he will not give away." Uh, everything else he will give. He will give even his con his country, his throne, his kingdom, his uh, royal royalty, even his wives, his children. Anybody ask anything, he will give. Except asking for his parents, then he won't give. Anything else he give. In our country, there is a blind Brahmin. Yes, uh, you you order him to come here. Yeah, and then you tell him to go to the Pleasant Eye King to ask for his eyes. Then even then, we don't have to fight him. They will return to their countries because the king is blind and maybe dead. Yeah. So wow. Okay. The bad king immediately ordered the Brahman to come, and then the prime minister told the Brahman, the blind Brahman, "Our country is going to be invaded very soon. Please, I ask you one favor, to save our nation." So the Brahman say, uh, "Please, sir, tell me, even though I am." Uh, but I am so blind and so lowly like this. <laughs> What can I do for our country? Yeah. So the prime minister say, "Listen, the king pleasant eyes. Uh, in the f in uh, soon a few days, will bring a big army here and to invade our country. Yeah. We are strong and uh, have eyes, so we can run away. But you, huh?" Blind like this and weak like this, where are you going to run? How are you going to run away, escape? Mm. So they will kill you. <laughs> Very good, good, good talk, huh? 
But I know the King Pleasant Eyes has a vow that whatever anybody asks, he will give, mm. except his parents. So if you go there and ask uh, the Pleasant Eyes King for his eyes, physical eyes, yeah, he will give it to you. Then, after that, all the shoulders will return. When the king is suffering, they will have no more heart to want to fight or anything. So, therefore, our king asks you to come here to request you to do this. Yeah, so, uh, Prime Minister, how, how am I going to get there? He said, oh, don't worry, I asked somebody to take you there. Okay? So, at that time, in the country of the Pleasant Eyes King, appear many uh, bad old men, you know, like uh, earthquake, uh, comet uh, coming, uh, appearing, and uh, uh, raining of uh, uh, ice, ice cubes raining, and uh, dark dark uh, cloud is all over the country the whole day, and a lot of birds, and birds are crying pitifully, and a tiger and wolf, they're all howling, howling very, very fiercely. Yeah, everybody in the country saying to each other, it's really, really unfortunate old man coming. Sometime we will, something bad will come in. So at that time then, that is the day that we, when the uh, blind Brahman is coming to the country, and all these bad old men appear at the same time, yeah. So people think, oh, this is really something, a sign of bad luck coming. Mm -hmm. Now, the blind Brahman is already arrived. In the middle of all this, he arrived. And then he uh, went into the royal court and uh, talked in very loud voice. Your Majesty, I am from another country. I heard your your virtues, your virtues and and uh, uh, and moral and your love and your mercy and your compassion for everyone. That anyone, whatever, asks you anything, you give. Yeah. So I don't care about the long distance. I came here from far away, walking, to come here to beg you, to beg from you. So the king. Step immediately from the throne, came down to the beggar and said, Where, where did you come from? Why you came such a long way? Are you tired uh, by, you know, from long distance uh, traveling? What is it that you want from me? So, how, how nice is the king, huh? He walked down from his throne because uh, the Brahman is. Prop, he can see that maybe he's blind, he cannot go up. So so he say, he said, Your Majesty, the merit of uh, donating f uh, material things is, uh, is uh, even great, but not, it's very small compared to the merit of offering the things from your own body. Yes. So I have been blind for a long, long time now. I came here to beg you for your two eyes. So the the king became very stern, you know, he, he his face became stern and he said, Okay, fine. I will be pleased to give it to you. And the beggar asked, you know, the Brahmin beggar asked, how long will it take for that to happen? And the king said, Don't worry, in seven days. Seven days because he has to write down many uh, of the notice to give it to the whole country, yeah? Hmm. And two other smaller country kings say, um, all, the, all the kings should know I, because doing a charity, uh, charity uh, work, in seven days I will take out my eyes and give it to this, to one uh, Brahman. Blind Brahman, uh, please come. Please come to 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 the my palace on that day, all of you. 
So after that, everybody come, all the kings came to his country and into the, the palace. And they said to him, Your Majesty, the charity work. Thank you. What took so long? It's not outside? Oh, I have to warm. It's not warm? Oh, but the ginger will be hot. <laughs> Thank you anyway, okay? Now it's too hot. <laughs> Can I drink it? It's not too warm. Ah! <laughs> ah! Very good. Thank you. Something in the throat. It's very pleasant. No sugar? Nobody likes sugar? Is it better? They don't like sugar? They like like this? Mm, with sugar tastes better. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> no, I mean for everybody. You put some syrup or something next to it. So if people like, they can... And a spoon. Mm? So if they like it, they can put in. If they don't, they, they don't. <laughs> if they don't like, they don't put, right? So they say, you know, they all want to come to, to stop him, you know, by doing this kind of terrible thing. They say, Your Majesty, your charity uh, merit, your charity principle is so great already, it's, it's immeasurably great. So concerning taking your eyes and give it to the blind Brahman, uh, this is a very useless thing. Yeah, no, no need. Yeah, I do it myself. Thank you very much. Go back to your seat. Thank you. Go to your seat. Fasten your seat bell. <laughs> Listen. Thank you, thank you. I shouldn't have bothered you, but it's because for everybody. <clears throat> Thank you, huh? Very kind. One second, okay? <laughs> All of you thirsty? Need a break? Need a breakfast? No? I still getting excited, so... <laughs> I have to take some drink, otherwise my voice becomes like the, the condo's voice. <laughs> 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 and then people might doubt, might, might doubt my... Status. <laughs> <coughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> <coughs> now you know what I mean. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, that was nice. Warm, nice, feel nice. So we consider the 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 eyes offering, the eyes charity is absolutely nonsense. You know, non, no no necessity and nonsensical. Because you are the king, you are the the saintly king. You need the eyes in order to take care of the country's affair and take care of all these people, all your citizens, and. Uh, and a smaller country citizen under you, you need the eyes. So this, if you, so that you continue to even do a charitable and merit work for everybody, so people will be happy, happy for a long time. If you lost, if you lose these two eyes, it's like as if, as if our country, the, all the citizens lose one uh, one bright uh, light or, or lose their own eyes. Please stop this. Please uh, abolish, abolish, abandon this uh, idea, this request. Yeah. And then everybody else, like his own, uh, uh, his own officials, and the queens, and the concubines, and all the prince, everybody feel very, very unhappy about this. Uh, because they also try to stop him, and he doesn't listen. So all of them are very sad, you know. They forget to eat, they can't sleep. All the whole country is feeling in turmoil and sorrowful. Yeah. And the crown prince saying to, to, to his uh, father, Your Majesty Father, yeah, please, if 
if uh, this Brahman, blind Brahman, need the eyes, I, I take my own eyes to give it to him. But you don't do that because you are the father of all nations, of many nations. You, you need it because even though if I die, they, they consider that if he take out the eyes, then the king will die also, you know, or at least sick and wounded for a long, long time. Eh? So the prince think that if he take his own eyes, he will probably die too. But he say, even if I die, our country will not be in danger, and other countries also will still be safe under your rule. So let me, let me take, let him take my eyes instead. The crown prince is also so noble, eh? Mm. Everybody, the, the king saw that everybody came and tried to hinder him like that, so he stood up and talked very loud, you know, in such a determined and authoritative loud voice, saying that, uh, please, all the kings and all the uh, people, even today I offer my eyes, but with a motive. Yeah, we can move it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eyes, mutis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Translation is very difficult. I know that, so I, I just help you when you're stuck. But nobody can help me when I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, they do, they do. Okay. Ah, uh, because I observe, observe that life after life, in in the cycle of life and death. I have many, many uh, bodies, yeah, that even if we collect all the bones of, uh, from my former bodies and put it together, it will be higher than the Sumeru mountain, the uh, highest India mountain, yeah. And all my blood, if, cover, if, if gathered together since a time in my memory, since I, my existence until now, probably it will be comparable. It will be uh, more than all the water in the four sea, yeah, four ocean. And then since, uh, uh, how you say, reunion and depart, many people cry because of me. If we gather all the tears together during all this uh, farewell time, you know, during the time I exist until now, the water would cover the whole ocean as well. Or maybe I was even in the, in in hell, you know, has been burned or been uh, tortured. Yeah. Then uh, all all those eyes and those time has been wasted and throw away. You cannot even count how many eyes I have lost and wasted, useless. Yes. I, or if I, if when I was a um, hungry ghost and the fire come from my own body and burning the body as well, from this body to another body, how many eyes has been ruined and damaged and make useless anyway? Yeah. Or when... When I was an uh, uh, animal, yeah, domestic animal, uh, and the humans were punching me and cutting me and killing me, you know, then and then they fry and eat and all that. So how many eyes has been wasted for for no reason, for useless reason, yeah? And then one life after another, another like that. So how many lives has been damaged? How many double of of that number the eyes has been ruined, destroyed for nothing? You cannot even count that. So even if this body was a, a human, yeah, and then sometimes can live long, sometimes die early, yes. And then uh, fighting with each other for fame and fortune, yeah, killing each other. All the body has been, you know, born and die, born and die. I cannot even count. So all these eyes also been wasted with this uh, deceased body, destroyed body. Anyway, there's your no use. Countless of eyes has been wasted.
destroy and you know disappear without any use. So even if I was in heaven, yeah, enjoying heavenly bliss and stay in the heavenly palaces, but after marriage run out also have to be born according to the next karma uh, circle. And then even then, those are heavenly body also been countless, countless, yes. Since time immemorial, transmigrating in the three three worlds and uh, born be born as animals or, or human, yeah, because of uh, uh, of uh, uh, sensual pleasures or because of uh, greed, you know, <coughs> greed, violent or bad deeds. So many bodies in this situation has been even uh, I say crushed like uh, like crushed like dust, yeah, become dust, yeah. Nobody even use that body to 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 do something good, you know, to uh, to solve the good deeds for the Buddhahood in the future. Yes, see all these useless bodies, ever since ever, yeah. So now I am giving this. Eyes only, even just so that uh, to to pray to all the Buddha, give me the wisdom eyes instead. And then after, if I became Buddha, I will use this wisdom eye to give all of you <laughs> the same eye. Yeah, with everybody. Why do you try to stop me? Yeah. So my motive is like that. Yeah. Don't try to stop me. Yeah, so everybody heard that they don't dare to say anything to interfere with his decision anymore. So the pleasant eye king saw that everybody already quiet down. So he asked his uh, subordinate, yeah, to uh, please uh, get the knife and take out my eyes for me now. So they say. The 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 subordinate, you know, his bodyguards left and right said, "Please, your Majesty, even you kill us, we won't do that. We have no heart to use a knife to take out your eyes in such a way. They rather die. They love him so much. Yes. So the king said, "Okay, then go out find somebody who would do that." Then they cannot find it. Then he say, "Go out and find somebody whose he, their eyes are very uh, shady. You know, their eyes you will, will be able to look down only cannot look up. You know, like a deformed kind of eyes, so that he don't see who who is he doing and what kind of thing he's doing. You know. And then they found the one like that. And then the king give him the knife and tell tell him to 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 take out his eyes, and he did that. First, he take the left eye and put it on the hand of the king, and he took another eye, the right, and put it also on another, on another hand. Oh, first he do that. Take the first uh, eye from the left side, and then, in uh, put it into the king's hand, and then he put it the 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 eye up up and say he vow. He say I vow to give this eye to the blind person, so that. This merit will enable me uh, nearer to Buddhahood. Yeah, and then if I am really sincere, please let this Brahman uh, use his eyes uh, as if it's his, so that he can regain the sight, his sight. And then he put this uh, left eye onto the left uh, eye socket of the blind Brahman. Oh, and then immediately the Brahman. A uh, blind Brahman can see half of the eye, uh, one eye already. He see the king and everybody around him. He's so happy, happy. <sighs> so he say, "Your Majesty, so one, one, one eye see enough. I can see already. Uh, please uh, keep the other one. I don't want. I don't want both." But the king say, "I have promised to give you both of my eyes. Then I will just give you both of my eyes. Yeah, please be happy to receive it." 
So then the person take out the right eye and put on the hand of the king, and the king also put up, you know, offering to all the Buddha. Say, I only want Buddhahood through this merit. Yeah, I mean he gather all this merit to uh, Buddhahood. Yeah. Please, if uh, please um, let the Brahman can see with both eyes, yeah. and then he put he put this in the socket of the Brahman, blind Brahman, and then both of his eyes became like normal, and he can see everything. So strange, so precious. He can see everything. And he can see not just everybody, but now he see everywhere, in the whole countries and many other countries. He can see the whole planet. He sees his very special eyes, and he give it even. The king who sacrificed such... Nobody would dare to do this kind of deed like he does. He did. Then he must have been an extraordinary um, superhuman, yeah, who look upon his body as if dirt or stone, you uh, worthless material, in order to uh, request, you know, the eternal body. Yeah, and then from then on, this kind of of tradition <laughs> began. Oh my God, they do all that. Probably do they still do they do it nowadays? Can you give your eyes to somebody else? Yes. They they can do it now. Yes. Really? How you saw that? You see it where? Because when people die, you can. Ah uh, yeah yeah, and and even the dead person eye can use. Yes. Oh really? And then the real, real eyesight re restore. Yes. Wow! Imagine. Then that's how it begin. They say here, yeah. This is a miracle, medical uh, phenomena begin from here. That's what the book said. Okay. At that time, the whole universe tremble. Many palace, all the palace in heaven, shake violently. Many of the heavenly beings and kings, you know, was very scared and surprised. Look down, see what happened. And then he see a bodhisattva take it out his eyes and offer it to a blind person. So everybody flow down and, you know, spread flower all over to make offering to the king. And they also praise him and ask him, bodhisattva, you don't even care about your own body and suffer so much to make such an offering. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of position in heaven you wish for doing this uh, through this merit? He say, "I do not want to be a Maya king. I do not want to be Brahman. I do not want to be sh Chakra king." or the uh, wheel steering king through this merit to enjoy uh, freedom and uh, bliss in the three heavens. Yes. I only want to become Buddha so that I can uh, help everyone escape birth and death and suffering in the three evil paths so that they will um, attain nirvana, nirvana and uh, enjoy eternal bliss. And so some of the king, I guess it's chakra, chakra god again, a king god say. But you suffer so much like that. You don't complain, you don't regret. He say, no, no, not even one little bit. The king say, no, I don't regret, not even one little bit. So the, the king of heaven say again, but I saw, saw your blood is running down, like stream like that, and your body became so... So pale. If you say you don't complain and don't regret, it's very difficult to believe you. <laughs> chakra, I guess chakra, again, the god of the astral heavens. So the king said, "If you don't believe me, I will vow like this." So he said, "I really am sincere in this uh, charitable deed." Just to become, just to to become Buddha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I said the word, 
that's not matching with my thought, meaning I tell lie. If I don't tell lie, yeah, then please let my eyes return to normal again. Immediately, his eyes appear again and he can see like before. And even he can see further than before. So everybody from the heaven to the earth, everybody so happy and so touched by the king's unwavering uh, iron will yeah, to follow his uh, Buddha path. But at that time, he's not a Buddha yet even. He has to do much more. Imagine that. It's just to war Buddhahood only. Yes. So everybody uh, praise him, say, definitely you will be Buddha in the future. So the King Pleasant say to the Brahman, uh, ex blind <laughs> Brahman, <laughs> like this Today I give you just a physical, just the physical eyes. In the future, when I become a Buddha, I will give you the wisdom eye as well. So, after that, he asked his uh, uh, his uh, um, subordinate to bring this Brahman into his storeroom. Whatever he wants, he can take. You know, gold, money, or whatever he like, clothes, everything he wants. Okay. Mm. <sighs> and the bad king, huh? Blah. Bala bada bada <laughs> heard about that. Come out, you know, came out and greet the Brahmin, come back and say, Have you been able to get the eyes, the eyes of the king? Say, Yes, yes, now I can see everything and see very far, just like him. And the king, uh, pleasant eyes, dead or not? Your Majesty, when they took the eyes from his socket, it's very painful and, and a lot of blood, he loses a lot of blood. You know, blood is soaking all his body, look very, very terrible and frightening. But many uh, uh, heavenly beings come down and ask for him, and ask him, uh, doubted his intention. So he vowed that uh, if uh, he's sincere, then his eyes return to him. And then it's really like that. His eyes return to him and even look even better than before. This uh, uh, the king after the king uh, bala bada bada <laughs> a bad bala bala bad king heard that he's so angry. Uh, you know, he's heartbroken. He's really heartbroken, drop dead. And the bad king, huh? Bla Bala bada bada <laughs> heard about that. Come out, you know. Came out and greet the Brahmin. Come back and say, "Have you been able to get the eyes, the eyes of the king?" Say yes, yes. Now I can see everything and see very far, just like him. And the king, uh, pleasant eyes, dead or not? Your Majesty, when they took the eyes from his socket, it's very painful and, and a lot of blood, he loses a lot of blood. You know, blood is soaking all his body, look very, very terrible and frightening. But many uh, heavenly beings come down and ask for him, and ask him, uh, doubted his intention. So he vowed that uh, if uh, he's sincere, then his eyes return to him. And then it's really like that. His eyes return to him and even look even better than before. This, uh, uh, the king, after the king, uh, bala bada bada, <laughs> a bad bala bala bad king, heard that he's so angry. Uh, you know, he's heartbroken. He's really heartbroken, drop dead. Hoa <laughs> guy. <laughs> Meaning he deserved it. Yes. Uh, after this, that's what I say, huh? not the Buddha. Huh? No, no. <laughs> and bad, bad master. Yeah. 
Maybe it's not your master, say, it's a Maya somewhere here. But he's a bad king, what for he live? He make his people suffer so much, right? And almost lost the country and almost blood will be flowing everywhere because of war. Understand? Yeah. Innocent people will die because of him. So if he die one person, it's a good cause. huh? Save millions. Save millions, yeah. Otherwise, a lot of refugees and, you know, a lot of trouble for the neighboring country as well, just like, almost like now. Hmm. So the Buddha remind Anand first, Anand, you should know. <laughs> you know already. Right? <laughs> you all should know that, <laughs> that the pleasant king at that time is no one else but I myself. Yeah. And the Brahman, the ex-blind Brahman before is... The blind ex, the blind, the beach you now, now that already attained arhat. Yeah, in the few, in the former life, through my, through my good heart, he has gained his eyesight, and in this lifetime, not only he regained his eyesight also, but also he has wisdom eye too for me. Yeah, life after life, I also have been doing similar sacrifices so that I can gather, you know, merit, like mountains and rivers, yeah, uh, or countless, countless of merit, so that I can become Buddha uh, because of all this gathering merit, so I became Buddha. Therefore, all of you should also be diligent in practicing and aspire, aspire to the um, the highest goal of Buddhahood. Yeah, everyone heard the Buddha say thus. Everyone was so touched, so touched with his immense uh, compassion and love. Therefore, their heart opened, you know, and sincere. So many people attain different levels of spiritual consciousness. Everyone prostrate to the Buddha and left. The story ends. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the masters and nirvana, and also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present, and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. My God, and the book's not end yet. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of story. But we stop now, huh? Okay. And you come and drink, and tomorrow maybe we joke again and read another story again. Less scary tomorrow, okay? Less scary. But even the scare, scary story is also help us to know that whatever we suffer is nothing compared to the Buddha's sacrifice. Such a great courage person. Yeah. Okay, but do you think the Buddha really need all this sacrifice to become Buddha? No? Why? Tell me. Why not? Because she, uh, he just uh, do something good for others and... Uh, Where is the microphone? Everybody want to listen to your wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why doesn't... Why the Buddha did not need to do all this in order to become Buddha? If you say no, then why did he do it? Why did he do all this sacrifice? 
Um, just just because the Buddha had the、uh, unlimited love for all the beings, and when others、uh, wanted, he just gave. Not、uh, she,、uh, he want do this just for Buddhahood, and uh, um. Uh, doing this, this kind of things, and this guy can be、uh, have the affinity with Buddha, and uh, uh, later he have the chance to be initiated and to be liberated. Correct. So you have her very well these days. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were sleeping, but <laughs> you're listening with your wisdom ears. <laughs> good, good, bravo. Very good. Can I keep this? Continue drinking later. Here、yeah, I'm shy. I can at home. I will go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That is correct. The Buddha has done all that, behaved like a normal king, or like an like an animal even, just to saw good affinity seat with other beings. Otherwise, it's not. It looked like he just became the Buddha two thousand some years ago, or almost three thousand years ago. Looked like that. It appeared like that in our history, and he also wanted people to think like that. Mostly, he will not explain. Maybe he explains somewhere else. But it's not the first time that he became Buddha. But he did all this, appearing as a normal person. And then gathering merit and all that. No, he has became Buddha. I don't know ever since、uh, time did not even exist yet. He has been a Buddha long, long, long time already. But then he sacrificed his Buddhahood, so he returned to normal beings again, so that he can transmigrate with all beings. To help this suffering existence, to elevate them, to help them, to show affinity with them, so that he can help them in the future. Otherwise, no one, no ordinary being, can be liberated from from suffering so so easily like that. Even Buddha has to do so many things like that to to become to become a Buddha again. He was a Buddha, but then he sacrificed Buddhahood to become an ordinary being, even become animals. Therefore, you see, if I read you all the stories about Buddha, when he was、uh, there, one of the story in here that he was a、uh, Kuda,、uh, the animal with the golden, golden fur and emit golden light. What kind of animal would emit golden light? Is this a? Is not a normal animals? You see what I mean? Yeah. And then, but in other time, he also appear as just normal animal too. But then, even then, the heart is noble. The behavior is not normal. You see. So you never know. He sacrificed his Buddhahood to roll back into existence, into suffering existence, in order to show affinity with all beings. Yeah. All Buddhas do that. Therefore, we have to thank all of them. Really, we really, really are grateful, and we're grateful more to Sekamudi Buddha and Anan, so we can hear all this story. Otherwise, we have many religions, but we don't always hear good story like this. True story, yes. Uh, except today, you know. Sometimes you tell me, you tell everybody your experience inside, you know, your own experience. Then we could also write it. <laughs> yeah, thus I have heard. <laughs> <laughs> The Master Ching Hai was at one time in SMC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and、uh, there were one thousand two hundred great assembly. <laughs> Including monks <laughs> and nuns from Korea <laughs> and Taiwan and China, etc., etc. You know what I mean?、Mm. It's similar. Understand? Similar. Except in the Buddha's time, whoever believe in Buddha, they are minor, 
more pure. Their faith is unshakable. Because these have a good affinity with the Buddha many lifetimes, and at that time the people are still pure. Life is more simple. It don't, it's good to have TV and Internet and all that, but then it also occupy a lot of our time and uh, uh, elevate, uh, how do I say, heighten more our intellectual capacity. And therefore, it's a dimpen somehow. Dimpen, dim, dimpen, huh? Dim. Uh, lower our spiritual aspiration some, somewhat. Understand? Also, the, all this uh, poisonous air and water and vegetable and whatever not these, these days are not very conducive to our purity and our sincerity of spirit has been hampered some, somehow. But we do have experiences too. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, many people see your master flying everywhere and in different heavens and different situation, helping different people. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah? yeah, except we don't say thus I have heard, because Anan is not here. <laughs> yeah, similar like that. Yes. So the Buddha has not been, uh, has not become Buddha just under the Bodhi tree two or three thousand years ago. No. How many? Maybe two, five, 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 eight. More or less two, two, two thousand and half, two thousand five hundred plus years ago. Yes, it's not the first time that he became Buddha. How can a person, you know, even married for many lifetime, have a lot of merit, become Buddha just like that? No, he already has been a Buddha. He just sacrificed it. Just like a master came from uh, came from fifth level, eh? they also sacrifice their comfort and bliss to come down to become a human again. You know, be born and and grow up and went to school and married and have children or not have children, suffering like everybody else, is sick and you know get old and all that. Yeah, but they came from the fifth heaven, came down to help us. Yeah? Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, Guru Nanak, uh, Mahavira, Krishna, etc., etc. They all have been from Nirvana. Otherwise, nobody can be enlightened so quickly in one lifetime. Not to such extent, yeah? Except you have the the great master to help you, pushing you up, you know, lifting you. But these are master who has become master. They have been always master. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much, all the bodhisattvas. <laughs> we do appreciate. I do appreciate your 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 sacrifice. You have to get up early and go to bed late and miss many of the fun. I appreciate that very much. Every day like that for a month or two months, three months before and now and you pay, you know, your ticket like everybody else, you you know, and but you came, you just work, work, work. Mostly work. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad to have this opportunity to say thank you in this way. Thank you, Master. Everybody appreciate you, I think. <laughs> Other disciples they appreciate you. And if they don't, then um, we don't care. <laughs> okay, huh? Yeah. If you need some of this cake, if you want to go home or you want to eat, it's okay. <laughs> we can buy more. All right? Any one of you all have blanket and enough yes. for this situation? Yes. Because yes. maybe you didn't prepare, you know? If you need more blanket like this, you tell the the supplier, okay? Yes. They're very cheap, you know? Yes. I can buy all for all of you, whatever you need, okay? Extra. Hmm? Uh, did you hear? Huh? Hello? You can buy, anybody needs something extra because they didn't prepare to stay long. You can buy it for them, okay? Okay then, beautiful people. I go now. <laughs> yeah.
give some snacks to my dog. <laughs> Maybe for so for the cat. Meow. What answer? Why? Earlier, that's from earlier. Earlier. Oh. The woman, as many as can. Oh, okay, then as many as can. Because we do we have to prepare. And sometimes it cold, sometimes it rain. You know. You have to come in, okay? You cannot stay outside, of course. Small pressure and everything, okay? Ciao, Bella. Ciao. No pains? No? All people, no pain, nothing? Have any pain? No. Aromatism, knees? No. Elbow? No. Yeah. Good then. Because I have some medicine if you need, okay? And the, the, the food, the dry food in the, in, the, in the cupboard can take and use. Huh? Use them. And if uh, need, can buy again, okay? My kitchen or your kitchen. No problem. Ciao. Thank you for all your love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.